Hey everyone, Vegetable Man here. Just doing a real quick video looking at my commander build for William Tennant uh, based on a request I had on my uh, recent YouTube video on the Fiji. How to build the commander or which commander to use really on the Royal Navy light cruisers. This is my best choice for um, the, the light cruisers except for the Belfast. I would run if you have Azure Lane Belfast on Belfast. Um, otherwise Tennant I think is the second best choice and I'll run, I'll run through why as I go through commander builds. So, Quick look at the inspirations here, we have detectability down at uh, uh, number one from Gunichi Mikawa uh, and that really is based on my playstyle of Fiji where I like to be able to push in hard early on to scare away and kill destroyers so any more uh, detectability is better for that before you get spotted, you'll get closer before scaring them away and in the second slot I run, look, I run uh, Lutjens and the reason for that is the improved uh, AP damage. Obviously all your firing is AP, so basically what this does is um, increases my DPM by 4.25% across the board, and I think that's a pretty good choice. Uh, that's with Luchins at 15. So looking at the base trait and the reason why, or one of the reasons why um, I like to use Tenant is the, the Royal Navy light cruisers are very squishy and prone to being citadeled. Uh, so right now at um, 16 and legendary level 3, I'm running minus 9.5% uh, damage from my Citadel. So, you know, if you get hit by a big shell, that's a big chunk less damage it's doing. That could be, that could be up in the, in the um, not a thousand, but, well, it could be a thousand, you know, it could be a thousand less hit points that you're losing um, at 10%. So it could be more than that even actually, to be honest that you're losing from getting citadeled if you get hit by a battleship. So that's really worthwhile in my view. In the top slot, I attack Ingenious. I tend to run this on all my cruisers. Uh, this will tell me when I have another tip sh ship targeting me or any. It reduces incoming splash damage. So that's against HE to my modules and also speeds up uh, the traverse speed of my guns as well. Uh, there is other options here, getting better penetration for your AP shells. Um, but again, I prefer to run Ingenious on all my ships. And in the next slot, I run uh, full speed ahead, so I give myself a little bit more speed, which is fine, but then better rudder shift time, which is excellent, so I can dodge and dart around those shells. Down the third slot, it's a bit more questionable in the choices here. So you've got Sponge, which has uh, minus 5% incoming damage for cruisers, um, or Light Fortress, but that has minus 8 percent damage to cruisers so improved whereas sponge gives you um, more armaments HP and more repair time I don't feel like I lose my guns a lot in the Fiji or any of the Royal Navy cruisers so I prefer to take the the more less damage <laughs> if that makes sense I prefer the less incoming uh, more yeah less incoming <laughs> damage um, and uh, I think there's obvious reasons there. Down in the fourth slot, I run Acoustic Chamber. The other choice is here to get better rudder shift and better steering gear repair time. I personally prefer the, um, the reload time is, is much improved. You get one more charge and you get a slightly longer duration. So I think having that hydro is really handy. Um, and I think that's a better overall choice than running steer clear. And down the legendary slot, I run fully packed, so I get one more heal, which is really what I'm aiming for there generally. Um, other consumables as well, but the heal is the one I'm really after. If you're running Raider Edomara, then of course you'll also get one more radar. And with the passive effect of you have a better reload time um, of all consumables. And the other choice here is uh, by the book, which gives you more, a, a better decrease in damage, which is pretty good. Minus 20% is a big chunk. Um, and in fact, now that I think about it, I mean, that's a real toss up because having one more, so you get one more sonar as well, one more heal, less, 20% less damage is like, that's better than a heal. So there's definitely things to consider there. And then the passive effect is you get better DCP, but I don't really think that's that valuable. So yeah, real big toss up there. And in fact, I might um, actually try playing around with this on and see how it feels to see if it's any better. Well, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. They are few and far between. I'm sorry about that. Um, to be honest, I'm just not playing the game that much. Um, I'm playing a lot more Escape from Tarkov and I've gotten into uh, Digital Combat Simulator DCS. 
Um, I picked up a VR headset and boy, that is, well, there's a lot of learning to be done, but man, that is cool. Flight simulators are meant to be played with a VR, I reckon. Anyway, I'll still do these videos from time to time. I, I'm sure I'll get back to playing Warships again um, in, at some stage in the future, probably once winter rolls around here down in, uh, down in New Zealand and summertime. I'm playing games less at the moment anyway. So yeah, thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did uh, enjoy it. Please feel free to leave a comment below if you like my build, if you don't like my build, if you think there's better options out there, definitely let me know about it. If you didn't like the video, leave a thumbs down, tell me why, and I'll see if I can improve it for next time. Thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you later.